Some tense moments in an Oakland County courtroom as a man sentenced for murder comes face to face with the victim's loved ones. Akiva McCray learned his fate today for killing a Pontiac mother. Moments later, an outburst in court. 7 Action News reporter Nupakash joins us live from Pontiac to tell us exactly what went down anew. Well, Carolyn and Glenda, in the courtroom, you could really see the pain and the emotion on the faces of the victim's family. And just when we thought court was finished, this happened. Drama in the courtroom as convicted killer Akiva McRae is led back to jail. The courtroom was full of loved ones of Kenyatta Barnes. They were there to see what McRae had to say for shooting and killing the Pontiac mother of seven last year. Moments before that outburst, McRae offered only a few words. You know, I have been for my actions. So I'm my family in the court. Barnes's two-year-old daughter was also shot, but she survived. Today, you could see the pain on the faces of Kenyatta Barnes' loved ones. The judge sentenced McRae to 30 to 60 years for second-degree murder. Someone in the crowd called McRae a name, and that's when this happened. The outburst, a clear sign of frustration by Barnes's loved ones, knowing that McRae will still have a chance at life outside of prison since he's only 22 now, something the judge touched on before that outburst. You will have an opportunity to live your life after being incarcerated for quite a lengthy time. Obviously, this Barnes doesn't have that opportunity. It really is a sad case all the way around. Now, according to McRae's defense attorney, he says that McRae and Miss Barnes had been in a relationship that night of the shooting. He says that there was an argument, and that's what led up to it. Again, Miss Barnes's two-year-old daughter was also hit. She survived, and according to him, she is doing okay. Reporting live in Pontiac, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. So hard on the emotions of that family. Thank you so much, Anu.